So Mayano sent out their dynamic microphone, which is a USB slash XLR microphone. So you have that capability right there, but it's called the PD200X. I have it in the white variant. There is a black variant. I will leave a link to Mayano's website and the Amazon listing down in the description. So if you want to pick this up, go ahead and you can do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about the overall build quality, the unboxing experience, what I think about the software, and then we're going to jump into some microphone testing. When I recently did the Fine Fine K688, I'll leave that review down in the description. Um, I compared this microphone to five other microphones, but what I'm going to do in this video, I know it's going to probably make it a little bit longer, but I'm going to compare the Mayano microphone against the Fine Fine microphones that I already have in my possession, plus other microphones that I have in my possession as well, such as the the wave from uh, wave one from Elgato with their software. I'm gonna talk briefly in comparison with the Mayano, and then I'm gonna talk about the Fine Fine case. I would say K688, and also the Fine Fine A6T, and um, some other XLR interfaced microphones I have, including the one that's you know recording the audio right now. Um, what I'm gonna do in those sounds tests, I usually use a fan, which I have in my office right now. I'm gonna set it on a uh, four, and then I'm gonna set it on five. That's gonna simulate. Uh, room noise uh, or fan usually somebody in the office or a gaming session will have some type of fan maybe some background noise stuff like that i'm going to switch between having eq on each microphone and not having eq on each microphone so you can see all microphones um, they're going to be set to 42 db I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the Fine Fine uh, A6T because there's no way to tell the gain. So I'm going to just set the volume to that in my PC uh, as far as 42 or at least try to simulate as best as I can. Um, the Elgato Wave 1, I'm not sure off the top of my head what the DB can be set for that because again, it's a USB Type-C uh, microphone. So I, I'm not sure, but I'll let you guys know on screen. But first off, I want to talk about the unboxing experience again. Like I said, the unboxing experience was pretty, I would say, just ordinary. There was nothing special or anything like that. I will say the type C cable that you get with it does have a type C and has a dongle for a type A. So you can plug into your computer either way. Um, it's super long, which I really like to see because some companies when they send out microphones or other, you know, technological things are supposed to hook up to your PC those cables that you get just are super short or it's like how is somebody supposed to cable manage this or you know run this to the computer when the computer's on the right side and maybe you have it on the left of your desk and especially if you have a 72 inch or above desk like i do um it's really hard to you know get those cables to run so i i do appreciate having the longer cable here uh, the other thing that I've noticed with it, it comes with a little adapter, but it's only one adapter to put into the shock mount to attach it to your microphone boom arm. I've seen it where companies have sent out microphones or just things attached with something that's like with audio that's going to attach to a microphone boom pole. And it comes with all the threads that you need. Um, and this one, unfortunately, just comes with one. So be wary of that. You can find these little snippets and stuff that you need or wherever. If you do need a different adapter cheaply on Amazon, it's just it should have just came with the microphone. It's kind of weird that it doesn't. Uh, next thing up, I'm going to talk about, and I probably can show it in a B-roll of, I would say, the unboxing portion, is that the overall build quality of the microphone, it's very lackluster, especially at this price point being around $80 on Amazon at least. It's not really impressive. I've seen other microphones around this price point, like the Fine Fine K688 that I recently reviewed. Um, and it just, it just seemed like the build quality was better there, especially at the same price point, but this one has RGB and it has software. So I don't know if that's going to be something bothersome to people. It's not really well shown on camera. Um, as far as the lackluster build quality, uh, it's just, it looks like something between, I would say 30 to $50 as far as microphones looking at it or wherever kind of reminds me of the overall cheapness and, and look and feel of the fine fine a6t but the fine fine a6t does sound really really good for the price point and it's around 40 dollars. so i mean the audio quality is what really matters but i'm saying if you're spending 80 dollars and you're going to be looking at this thing and you're going to be having it in your setup just know in person the microphone looks really really cheap especially the shock mount looks really really plasticky almost toyish um and how it connects to your microphone or wherever it's just very disappointing for 80 dollars. i will also say the capsule the the wind muff that covers the capsule wherever it's magnetic but the magnetics are of it is really weak it pops off fairly easy i've bumped it a little bit or wherever in the unboxing and it kind of just like 
kind of started coming apart and I thought like I broke it somehow or something or I had a defective product but then I realized it was magnetic um unless you're gonna swap it out and like clean it or something like that and you find like maybe a third party uh I guess manufacturer that can change the color or whatever at the top I'm not really sure why this needs to come off this easily let alone with magnets it's kind of weird let's talk about the rgb the rgb is very bright at least in person but on camera even with my lights being you know in my cameras and my webcams all that stuff being correctly exposed it still doesn't show up as bright as it does in person so that might be something that's important to you if you can care about like conveying that to your audience whether you're streaming or doing youtube videos or wherever just know again it's way brighter in person another nitpick i would say is in the software you can change between uh the rgb spectrum or having different solid colors but there's no way to mix and match colors like if i want red and white to be matte uh match or wherever and displayed on the rgb ring i can't do that you see the colorway that i have in my room I can't match the aesthetics or wherever and having two colorways. I just, just one solid color or another, or just have the RGB spectrum. The software is really, really intuitive. I try to sit down and record a video using the software and everything, but that video in itself became like 10, 12 minutes or wherever going through everything. But essentially in the software, if you hook it up with USB to your computer, you do get something like a limiter and a compressor, and that helps EQ your microphone. And you can look that up. I'll probably put the definitions on screen so you know what they do. Um, but you also get gain control you also have a knob on the actual microphone itself if you click it down you switch between the microphone gain and the headphone uh, gain or wherever as far as volume goes because it does have a, a headphone jack um, low latency monitoring or wherever meaning that it's real time as you talk you hear it other than that the software like I said it's very intuitive it's very understandable you have a simple way of addressing things turning off the RGB stuff like that um, and everything and it obviously runs on your computer and from my experience I don't know if anybody else's but I don't really need the software running in the background or wherever so that's good you do have an equalizer here where you can have a low pass filter a flat filter high pass and low pass like combo or wherever in the software itself is really really cool if you want to walk through of the software I will find a YouTube video and leave it linked in the description because again this is going to be a sound quality test or wherever and testing in different microphones I don't want the video being an hour long or wherever trying to explain to you this stuff um, but yeah that's all my overall thoughts of the build quality of the microphone the unboxing experience and everything um, but let's get to the sound test and then I'll go ahead and give my overall thoughts of the microphone Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a U.S. Army veteran and I'm a hip-hop dancer. You can check me out on kick.com slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a U.S. Army veteran. I'm a hip-hop dancer and you can check me out on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip-hop dancer. I'm a U.S. Army veteran and you can find me on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer and US Army veteran. You can find me over on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a US Army veteran. I'm a hip hop dancer and you can find me over on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe, a hip hop dancer and US Army veteran. And you can find me over on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a US Army veteran, a hip hop dancer, and you can find me over on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran. You can find me over on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe, and I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran. You can find me over on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe.
Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com so slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com so slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kit.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kit.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a US Army veteran, hip hop dancer, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kit.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kit.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a US Army veteran hip hop dancer and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran. You can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Elgato Wave 1, set to 20 dB, no EQ. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com forward slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe. I'm a hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Did you squid here? Wavelink does not allow you to have two wave microphones, I guess.
plugged into your computer at once. So when I tried to do the Wave 1 EQ'd, um, I had to unplug the Wave XLR, but I guess some kind of interface issues or something like that happened with the Wavelink. So the EQ'd version of the Wave 1 microphone just doubled the output. So it was like echoey. So you heard me twice and it did not apply the EQ. Um, and I went back and tried to redo it just now and it just didn't work. So I don't know what to tell you guys as far as like how the microphone would sound with the EQ, but even in the previous recording that I did, the EQ still wasn't even applied. So I'm not sure it must be something jankiness or whatever with the Wave Link software. I don't know what to tell you. There's no other way because the editing program that I use doesn't really allow you to EQ the microphone and I don't have any clear audio to be able to EQ it. So you know, chalk it up to uh Elgato still having really bad uh software i don't care what anybody says software sucks fine fine a6t is gain knob on the bottom is set to about half on the microphone hello everyone my name is squidhead joe i'm a hip-hop dancer u.s army veteran and you can find me over on kick.com for slash squidhead joe hello everyone my name is squidhead joe hip-hop dancer u.s army veteran you can find me over on kick.com for slash squidhead joe Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe, hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe, hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe, hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. Hello everyone, my name is Squidhead Joe, hip hop dancer, US Army veteran, and you can find me over on kick.com for slash Squidhead Joe. So after the sound test, I'm really, really surprised of the Mayano microphone because for a microphone like this, it's the EQs that I put in and I make it sound or whatever, it really does get that, I feel, fullness and richness of my muddiness of my voice, which some other microphones, I kind of have to struggle with the EQ um, to really get that presence across. It's really definitely in that muddy uh, territory. That's just me and how I do things as far as EQing and stuff like that. I don't like not hearing the deepness and muddiness of my voice because I know I have a deep voice. I've been told that multiple times, either talking to somebody on the phone or being in person. Um, so it's a little bit weird when you don't have the bass or wherever and you have to EQ it so hard to try to get that in microphones. A lot of people don't like having muddiness or wherever in their audio, but to me, it sounds actual like more natural than not having any of those tones. Um, that's just my personal opinion. So. I'm really surprised that it was able to keep up with that from the XLR input or wherever. And I did listen to a little bit of the USB portion or wherever, and it sounds roughly the same. I don't, I think you can get by either using the XLR or the USB. Um, overall, I do recommend this microphone because of the software and the capabilities. And if you don't have an XLR interface and you're looking for something, um, usually with like stuff like the Fine Fine K688, like I keep saying, um, usually you have to, you know, have some kind of third party uh, software or whatever when it comes to using their USB type C uh, connections or whatever in your computer to, you know, really EQ it. But straight out the box, the microphone sound good but i'm that type of person that likes that extra capability to really hone in what i want when i buy a device especially around this price point so it's up to you your use case scenario if you already have software or you have an xlr interface or you're looking at one or something like that and you want to have those extra presets and stuff to be able to do that um, then i would suggest going something with the fine fine or um, some other microphone out there that's around a hundred dollar price point or 50 between 50 and 100 dollar price point um, if you are looking just for some type C, uh, capability, again, it's hard to overlook the Elgato wave one because that's USB type C. You can find it refurbished for under a hundred dollars or like right at a hundred dollars. And, um, again, it's the wave one It's the cheapest version or whatever, but usually with the wave one, you have to get a microphone boom arm separately. You have to get the shock mount separately, the pop filter separately. Whereas this just comes with the attached shock mount and it comes with the USB type C cable that's long enough. And on top of that, you get the software. And if you, I, I would imagine if you get any other Mayano product or wherever, you will have access to the software or wherever, and you can use that again with any other product. I know they have an audio interface. Um, whereas Elgato, like you get the submixes and all that 
of stuff. But like I said, it looks really weird when you don't have the shock mount and a pop filter. I don't know why Elgato does that. Uh, having two separate purchases, not coming all together and one microphone like package or whatever. They're just trying to nickel and dime people. Like I said, Elgato just always trying to rip people off. It's it's amazing that nobody has sued them yet. That's just my overall thoughts on the microphone. Like I said, if you are looking for a microphone that's straight out the box that you can hook up immediately to your computer, easily download and go in there and EQ and do like subtle EQs or wherever and just, you know, go and not fiddle around with finding free EQs and stuff like that, which you have to do with the Wavelink software. They do provide links or wherever on their website and everything to be able to put it into Wavelink, but you really have to, even in Wavelink, you still need to know roughly what you're doing, not necessarily be an audio engineer, but you kind of need to know what you're doing with those certain plugins or wherever, where I barely know what I'm doing and I'm still somewhat getting by. Whereas Mayano is just, just pretty much straightforward or wherever, as far as using the software and um, making it very user friendly, as far as I would say new creators using their microphone. So again, it's up to you. I can't really say yay or nay as far as re recommending it, because like I said, I know there's other microphones out there the direct competitor, like I said, is going to be the Elgato one, but that's a cardioid. This is a dynamic microphone. So it's going to be up to you whether, you know, you want that or not. And what you're actually looking for, you know, better than I do. Mayano, if you are watching this, um, please just check out the build quality of your microphones, make them a little bit better. Um, that that's all, especially if somebody's going to pay $80 on it. I should not be looking at it. And it look, kind of almost looks like a toy for my 10 month year old son who i would probably give it to him when he's like one years old or something like that and uh let him play around with it or something like that it literally looks like one of those toys uh and paying 80 dollars for it it's kind of crazy because you're mostly paying for the sound quality like the capsule and the microphone is good and the software is good it's just the overall build quality and it's right there in my face i'm staring at it it's just it needs to be polished a little bit more i would say but overall good microphone with that being said, y'all take care. Have a squid day. God bless you and yours. And deuces, everybody. Much love.